moving on to week 15 after a very impressive week 14 win over the New Orleans Saints. It's 49ers just absolutely shocked that one out. I cannot believe that scoreline. Comeback victory. Now we're going up against the Atlanta Falcons. Now let's check where they stand. Going quite low to find them there. They are 6 and 7. They won their last game. Meanwhile, the 49ers were way up here at 7th. Saints are still their 5th now and in the, in the NFC they remain 3rd. And their divisional rivals, the Panthers, they're also having a great year. But they also lost last game. So the good news this week, good news and bad news is the Panthers are versing the Seahawks. And we have the Falcons. So the Panthers and the Seahawks, the Seahawks definitely have a harder matchup. But we're going to have to deal with Julio and Matt Ryan. I see the Eagles, wow. I want to go see how they are doing this season. Jimmy Garoppolo, just insane year so far. Raheem Mostert. I will check his injury update from last game. And George Kittle leads their team. Alright, the Falcons. So Matt Ryan, 3,483 yards. 21 touchdowns, 7 interceptions only. Definitely Matt Ryan is having a good year. Bar what? Brian Hill and Todd Gurley sharing quite a bit of snaps. Maybe an injury. Yes, there was an injury. Todd Gurley's only played five games. So maybe he's just back this week. Brian Hill as well has a quite a few carries. 112. Ito Smith. Quandre Olsen on the receiving, of course. Who, who was it? Julio Jones. Only two touchdowns, though, again. Just not a touchdown, man. 72 receptions, 820 yards. Hayden Hurst, definitely another guy to watch. 800 yards, five touchdowns. That's definitely their touchdown guy. Calvin Ridley, any any big time injuries? Injury report. So we're still missing Jimmy Ward. We have Emmanuel Mosley actually filling in. They do not. They have a full roster. So that's that's gonna be fun to deal with as we're gonna versus six and seven. Atlanta Falcons. Hey everybody, it's the coach. This is Madden Football on EA Sports. Ahead, we'll see the former MVP Matt Ryan and the Atlanta Falcons as they match up with Jimmy Garoppolo and the San Francisco 49ers. I'll be back with you again with scores around the league at halftime. But kickoff right around the corner. And standing by to call the action, here are Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. It's the final three weeks of the season. Still plenty to play for here as we're underway in week 15. This one fielded at the five. And not a bad return here. He gets it out to the 25-yard line. The San Francisco offense heading out and a welcome sight for 49er fans. Jimmy Garoppolo leading the way. Jimmy, of course, lost for the season in week three last year in Kansas City. And then the Niners really struggled the rest of the way without him. A silver lining to the early season injury. It gave Jimmy Garoppolo plenty of time to heal and get back to 100%. Moster. Give him three there on the first play of the game. And it's second down. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because when they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He lost four there, and it's third down. Little trouble thus far on their opening drive as they come up on a third and 11. 
Looking to throw, Garoppolo. Got a man over the middle, and it's complete. That'll be marked as a 27-yard pickup. From midfield, here's Garoppolo. And that is caught on the right sideline, but out of bounds, says the line judge. The throw took him a little too far at second down. So after the incompletion on first, now second and ten. Garoppolo now. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 33. So they'll come up first and ten now from the 33. This is Moster down to the 30 after a gain of three. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. Here comes the seventh play of this opening drive. They've moved it well, but here's third down. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. Looking left side, and it's complete. Here's Moster. Looking for a seam, but finding none. He'll get back to the line of scrimmage, and that's it. Dante Fowler in on the stop. Now Moster, and that one blown up quickly as he's going to be stopped before he could even get started. That's going to go down as a loss of five, and it brings up third down. On third and long, it's Garoppolo. Well, the two men come together, and it's incomplete. Excellent work defensively, brings up fourth down. Nice play there to force the incompletion, and to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. CD, you know there were quite a few Bears fans back in January saying, why didn't we hold on to that Robbie Gold guy? Well, it's a legitimate question. 33 of 34 for San Francisco in 2018. The crazy stat of the year, he missed more extra points, too, than he did field goals, one, in the 2018 season. Now the third leading rusher in the NFL last year, Todd Gurley. And this will go as a gain of seven as he gets it to the 30-yard line. The numbers on the ground for Gurley last week. 19 carries, 61 yards. Well, watching the film, we saw that things clicked pretty well for them in the running game last week. No reason to change in my mind. Continue to try and run the football, give it to them early and often in hopes of breaking down the defense so some bigger gains result as the game goes on. They'll try and pick up the first with Gurley. And that one going nowhere from the start as he's met in the backfield and goes backwards. Not at all what they envisioned on third down, three yards in the wrong direction. Well, so much for picking it up on the ground on third down. Third play of the drive and this defense showing strong early. I wonder how much of that was scouting. I wonder how much of that was a gut feeling like, okay, let's just go ahead and sell out here and get after them thinking they're going to run the football and stuff them early because they've now set the tone. They've set a precedent right here. If you're going to try and run the ball against us, it could be hard going throughout this game. Here's a throw, complete right side to start things out. Ten yards on the pick up there, and it'll be second down. So second in inches after that first down completion went just shy of the marker. And again this time to the tailback. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. They'll wind up losing three yards here. And that'll make it third down. Throwing now is Garoppolo. And he will find his man on the outside. Three catches now this afternoon. The same number he had all of last week. Also, it's a first down. A good pickup of six there on first down. Now they try the right side here. 
Looking for a crease, can't find one. Stopped at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play that time, and they'll look to convert on what'll be a third and four. To throw is Garoppolo. The first catch of the game for George Kittle. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. They stop him for only three that time, and that'll bring up fourth down. One hallmark of good defenses is understanding the game, understanding positioning, and tackling immediately in the secondary after catches. I think we just saw that on display right there. He got to him before he ever had a chance to think about turning it upfield. They'll throw on first down with Ryan. Man open, that's Calvin Ridley. A good pick up there, eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch, good for eight yards. Here's Ryan. And he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. So the sack pushes him back, and now third and long for Ryan and the Falcons. Now it's Ryan. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And he'll lose yardage on this one back to the 13. And a loss of three to bring up four. Well, the good thing about covering any game I do with you is I know that there's no problem with rhythm. Now, what we're watching offensively, a little bit of a problem there. Yeah, punt on the first drive, looking at another one here. Just a little slow. It, you know, they, they were talking about a fast start, but that hasn't been the case. Yeah, and let's face it. Any team we cover always talks about a That's fast true. start. That's true. But it's not necessarily going to happen just because they say so. And whether it's the script, whether it's, you know, just what they're going through, whether they're seeing different defenses, they have to figure it out as this game moves on. A good pickup of six there on first down. Three nothing after one on EA Sports. There's a ball thrown right side and complete. And he gets this inside the 35-yard line. It'll go as a first down for San Francisco on a pickup of 16. Garoppolo now, first down throw, and he fires one incomplete. He was looking that time for Dante Pettis, but it's going to be second down. From the 34, they'll come to the line on second and 10. Looking to throw, Garoppolo, and he's got his man out of the backfield. That's complete. The Niners on third down. They've converted three out of five thus far. This is third and eight. Now Garoppolo. And now Garoppolo lost the football. And the ball is knocked out. And the Falcons say they have it. They do. Now after the completion, we're going to get a timeout. An injured player. Well, he gets attended to. We'll step aside. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They'll try and start the drive with Gurley. And the reinforcements come in as they're going to stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. Here's Ryan. Anun has got it. Complete. That throw good for only a couple. It brings up third down. On third down, Ryan. And this is going to be incomplete. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. So well done there. And these punters, they get more specialized and better each and every year, don't they? They sure do. And now it's really not the American punters. It's the Australian punters with their kicking academies and that flat drop and just kind of kicking the nose of the football. They're able to almost stop it where they want to like a good golfer can check one up. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get it up here this time to the 21. A gain of just a yard, but it's a first down. Garoppolo on first down. That's caught. It's Coleman. 
And he will lose yardage on the play. Back at his own 19-yard line. That's going to go as a loss of two, and it'll be second down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that little swing pass out to the right side before lost yardage. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm, wasn't it? Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and caused a nice play for lost yardage. And able to get this across the 20 before going out of bounds. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. And able to haul it in is Kittle. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. The 21 yards there as they convert on third. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and 10 to throw. It's Garoppolo. And he's able to get this one down to the 40-yard line. They'll get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. Samuel, the 36 overall pick in last year's draft. Played his college ball at South Carolina. Really good senior campaign. 62 catches, 882 yards, and also threw in 11 touchdowns for good measure. They're able to push forward for about four down to the 37. Now Garoppolo on the bootleg. Catch is made by Hurd. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. That one good for 26 and a first down. Garoppolo on the offense with a first and 10. And he's hit on all six of his throws on this drive. Garoppolo. Now the pressure gets there, and he goes down just inside the 20 at the 19. Grady Jarrett making his presence felt. He gets the sack. And they need to work to at least get some of this yardage back after the sack. Second and 19. There's Garoppolo to throw. The Niners on third down. They've hit four of seven. This will be third and 19. A shotgun snap for Garoppolo. Wide open receiver complete. And across the chalk into the end zone. It's a 49er touchdown. From 19 yards away. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. And on this play, he just made a great route. The quarterback had to deliver it, sure, but a great route run there. And Brandon, this is what the best receivers do. They work on their route running. Because it's one thing to have athletic ability, but to really get open, you have to set up defensive backs with different routes and be precise in your cuts. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. So far, they've had three drives, three punts. Not good. Not good indeed because you've got to have something to show for being out on the field. Now, sometimes if you have a game where neither side has scored, three punts isn't a bad thing. But when you're trying to set the pace, get up on top in a game, you've got to show better offense and find a way to put some points on the board. On first down, it's Gurley. And the running lane's non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of a yard, and it'll be second down. Now a draw play for Gurley. And he'll get it down here to the 43. That'll be a pickup of 10 as they try to recover from this 10-point deficit. This is third and one. Very likely four down territory, even if they don't get it, though. He's got Smith here. And they went the wrong way there. Losing yardage back at the 43-yard line. That'll make it fourth down after a loss of one. We've hit the two-minute mark of the first half. 10-0 our score. And this is off target to the left. Didn't get there anyway. It's no good. And this score will stay right where it is. Jimmy Garoppolo and his offense heading back on the field. And they must have seen something leading up to this one. Good starting field position for the 49ers as they have it first and 10 right at the 50-yard line. Garoppolo on the draw to Coleman. He'll be taken down at the 48 for a pickup of two yards. From just shy of midfield, Garoppolo. This one complete to Coleman. Here we go, here we go, here we go. 
Five men in the secondary now for the Falcons on third down. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. He finds Coleman. And he's going to have the first down at about the 38. Now a timeout called for by the offense as he'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. Garoppolo looks to throw. Looking to complete it to Pettis, and he's got him. An excellent pickup of 20 yards. Here we go. Inside the red zone, it's Garoppolo. That's complete to his receiver, Pettis. Now San Francisco going to call their second timeout as they get the stoppage with just under 50 go, seconds remaining in half number one. Garoppolo again. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11-yard line. Grady Jarrett able to record his fifth sack of the season. So they get pushed back to the 11. And here's second and goal. Looking to throw. Garoppolo drops it off for Coleman. And the stop will come inside the five at the four. And now the Niners going to signal for their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in half number one. Throwing now is Garoppolo. That is caught by the tight end Kittle. Touchdown, 49ers. Jimmy Garoppolo with his second touchdown pass of this first half. Here the Niners are able to stretch their lead. No surprise there, third and goal down here. That's where they're going to look for their tight end. Yeah, you want that big guy running his routes because it doesn't matter who they cover him with. If it's another big guy, he might use his bulk against him. If it's a shorter defender, he might go over the top. Either way, you tend to find a little bit of a mismatch in that area. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. And he can't escape the pressure. Ryan goes down. So we've hit halftime here in Santa. All right, hang on. We'll jump over halftime. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. This is taken at the three. Breaks the tackle, now an alley. Let's go, let's do this. We all know that teams never want to use the word panic, but if they expect to win this game, it has to start right here, right now. That return just set them up for points, and it needs to be a touchdown, not a field goal. Now Gurley, and they're going to get him behind the line yet again as his nightmare afternoon continues. It's a loss of two there, bringing up second down. So the opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. Here's Ryan. And now look at this, big gain, but a fumble. And a terrific return as he brings this one all the way back to the 30. A call of luck or skill, whatever the case is, they're feeling good about just keeping the football. So first and 10 now from the 30. And he'll give it here to his running back. And he'll get this one down to about the 20-yard line. A gain of 10 and a 49er first down. Running lanes were at a premium in the first half, but he's able to find some room there, and he's hoping that that's a precursor of a big second half. Garoppolo out wide here to Samuel. No gain there on the completion, second and 10. Going to give this time to the tailback. And that play going absolutely nowhere as he's belted before he could get out of the backfield. It'll be a loss of a full three yards there, and it also brings up third down. And for the Falcons, five men in the secondary, now on third. Working from the gun, Garoppolo completes it to Coleman. 
And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. It's a four-yard pickup, and that'll bring up fourth down. Whether you're playing West Coast offense or not, one of the maxims of the West Coast offense is you're either throwing a touchdown or a check down. In other words, look for the big shot, but be smart. I think they did exactly that on that play. They didn't get the first down, but they're taking care of the ball well. Yeah, and being rightly cautious with that lead here in the second half. Now it's gold after splitting the uprights to kick this one away. That's fielded in the end zone. And no run back here. This will be a touchback, and it comes out to the 25-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons' offense at the line. They're in a bit of a bind, a pretty big bind, down 20-0 as they start here on first and 10. And he'll be upended at the 28-yard line. Just a three-yard gain there. Here's second and seven now from the 28. Again, they run with Gurley. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. From the gun, it's Ryan. He gets it to Gurley, complete. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Well, I know it goes against the instincts of the person catching the ball because all you're ever taught is catch the football, don't drop it. But drop it there. Yeah, in that situation, <laughs> dropping it would have been better. End up losing yardage, even though they completed the pass. As good as a sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, and it won't help them at contract time. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. And they're not going to play this conservative, I don't think. They had a field goal last time, and they're up, but they're looking to put a drive in the end zone. Oh, I agree with you totally. No one goes out on the field and says, all right, let's just settle for three, except in certain situations, try to ice a game, that sort of deal. Most of the time, it's end zone, and that's what you're thinking, and I believe that's exactly what they're thinking as they begin this one. Yeah, no quarterback ever goes out there saying, hey, let's get three, right? <laughs> not one did I've ever met. Now a toss left side into the hands of his tight end. He'll get 17 on that one, and the Niners have a first down. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. They'll run with Coleman on first down, and he's going to get stopped up quickly. Give him a yard down to the 43. Defensively, a solid response after giving up back-to-back -back first downs. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. From the gun on third, Garoppolo. This one into the hands of Kittle, the tight end. And that's going to be good for another first down as the tackle's made at the Falcons' 19. This quarterback now over 300 yards now for the game and time to improve on that as he's got a first and 10. From the red zone now, they'll look to throw. Completes it to the tight end, Kittle. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. They'll try and run for it on first and goal. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Again, they'll run it with Moster. And a minuscule gain of maybe a yard from the six to the five. They've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? Garoppolo now, and it's complete in the end zone. Touchdown, 49ers. Three touchdown passes now for Jimmy Garoppolo. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. On those slants, everything happens so quickly. What makes it work? The timing between the passer and the receiver. In this case, a slant route. Ordinarily, it's probably about three steps before you go on the slant. In this amount of time, I think it's a two-step deal. Boom, put his foot in the ground and got inside for the pass. Got inside for the pass, got inside for the catch and the score. Get ready, get ready, get ready. 
About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. These guys had to punt last time. It has not been a very fruitful game offensively thus far. They haven't even made a trip to the red zone. And I know that everyone's going crazy on that sideline because that drives you berserk to come off the field, not really move the ball well. As you said, not even get to the red zone, let alone, you know, not even put points on the board. They've got to just take a deep breath, relax, try and figure out what is working, and call more of that. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Looking to throw on second down. Ryan, and his pass incomplete. Quincy Anoon with the intended receiver, and it's third down. These guys have punted four times already, and they're staring at a fifth, barring a conversion here on third down. Short throw underneath to Hurst, and he gets this only to the 41, not near enough for the first. They get only four that time as that leads us to a fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies unable to get it done. The San Francisco offense ready to start their next drive. This is sort of what you would call a put-away drive, isn't it? They score here, especially a touchdown. It's almost out of reach. It certainly feels that way, and I think that they're going to call their plays accordingly because what you really want to do, even though you know the scoreboard is still up there and the game's going to go on, in fact, you can take the spirit away from another team. That their drive and will to come back and win can be taken with another score right here. It's still third quarter, but you just get that feel. Yeah, they're teetering right there on the brink, aren't they? And he'll be tackled right on the chalk of the 45. Now, after the completion, we're going to get a timeout, an injured player. We'll check on his status when we get back. Back-to-back -back good plays have him on the move on first down. Complete out to Samuel on the quick throw. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. And this will probably be the last play of the quarter. We're off to the fourth quarter here in week 15. Happy holidays to all. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. And he'll get it down here to the 43. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. Now it's the Florida Atlantic alum. This is Alfred Morris. The tackle made there by Tack McKinley. Throwing on second and eight, Garoppolo. And he's going to be hit and taken down. Back right around the 48-yard line. Credit that sack to Dante Fowler, Jr. Well, that last sack, it puts Garoppolo and the 49ers in a tough spot. They face a third and long. On third down, it's Morris. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. It's a gain of five on the play, and it'll bring up a fourth down. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. Oh, and this ball's tipped and intercepted. Picked off near the 26. And they will take over at the 26-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent, and now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. And they've got it in the red zone now, down at about the 19. Seven yards on the pick up there, and it'll leave them with a second and three. They'll run it now, out of the gun. And able to get him down, but he does reach the five. A nice pickup of 14, and it moves the stick, sets up a first and goal. Another example of this offense really having their way, Charles, and another big chunk play there on the ground. And then when you look at the defense, they've got to do a much better job of wrapping up when they tackle. A lot of great opportunities continue to slip through their fingers, as do the runners. 
And he'll get this one back to the five-yard line, but no further than that. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. That's a big loss of three, and it brings up third down. Well, they've been so good on third down all day long. Can they convert another here on third and goal? To throw is Garoppolo. And he hauls it in in the end zone. Touchdown, San Francisco. Touchdown pass number four of the afternoon for Jimmy Garoppolo. And the Niners take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. Gold with the extra point, and that will extend this big lead. So that drive spanned five plays, and it's polished off by a touchdown for San Francisco. This one taken from the seven. And he'll take this one near the 25, call it the 26-yard line. About set to begin their next drive. The Falcons offense at the line. And last time wasn't pretty. One play and an interception. We'll see if they can do better. I want to see if they want to go ahead and throw the ball again now on this drive after what happened on the last one. Throw it on the first play. Give the quarterback some confidence. See what happens. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face mask. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they'll march off another 15 against your squad. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. After the incomplete pass here now is second and 10. I'm coming for you, son. I'm coming for you, son. From midfield now, here's Ryan. And they'll set up the screen to Gurley. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage on the play back at the 46. The Falcons on third down. They're struggling. 0 for 6 thus far. This is third and 14. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Well, the trials and tribulations of being a quarterback in this league, it's tough. It's got to be wearing on him out there. Well, he has been sacked a number of times. He had an interception, so I'm going to give him a skosh of credit for hanging in there and trying to make something happen, despite the amount of pressure he's been under this entire game. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. They begin the drive with Coleman. Foyasade Aluakan made the tackle there from his safety position. On second down now, it's Morris. Just a couple on the ground there, and that's going to bring up third and about six. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. Open man is hurt, and it's complete. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. First down, San Francisco, the pickup, 14 yards. Here we go, here we go. And he'll give it here to his running back. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. On second down, it's Morris. A six-yard pickup on the ground that time, and that'll make it third and four coming up. Coming up to the line, and they will need to run another play here before the two-minute warning. On the draw play, Coleman. And this effort won't be enough as they rally up to stop him a couple of yards short. It's a gain of a yard, and it takes us to the two-minute warning. Just two minutes remaining here in the fourth quarter of what has been a one-sided affair. Here comes the 40. And look at this. It's a fake. And nowhere to go. He's going to be stopped behind the line. A little trickeration there, but it doesn't fool him. And the Falcons' defense stands tall. They'll get the football back. Anytime a fake doesn't work, we usually focus our attention on the guys that were unsuccessful. But how about the defensive guys? They have to plan all week. They have to prepare all week. Special teams, 
It looked like they were educated for that one. Educated on their toes and getting a big stop. And this time he's able to take it down to the 42. Six yards to pick up, and that's a first down. On first down, Ryan. And he gets this one to Ridley complete. A gain of six there on first. They're going to need to get up and set in a hurry. Throwing again on second down. Ryan. Anun has got it. Complete. And this will move the chains again as the tackle's going to be made at the 49ers 12-yard line. Finally, a first red zone opportunity for these guys. It's first and 10 from the 12. They run. It's Gurley. And he'll be taken down here at about the 11. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. On second and nine, Ryan. And a little bit of a consolation prize there. He's into the end zone. Won't win him the game, but they do get the score with all zeros showing. But some fantasy players are really happy with that score. Doesn't affect the outcome, but hey, nice job there to put it in the end zone for the final play. Could it affect other things? Sometimes the, these types of scores are ones that we don't consider big at the time. Then later on, we find out maybe that was a tiebreaker. Yeah. Or, of course, in the fantasy football world, these points mean a lot. A lot there. Well, on the one side, if you try to take away something positive from this game, they played to the final whistle, getting the touchdown there on the last play. But still, all for naught, really. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say give them points for positivity. I like that. That part is good. But I often wonder, when the game is settled and the clock is run out, do we really need to kick the extra point? Oh, yeah. It it's, just, it's silly. It's it, silly. It doesn't make any sense to me. I know that people have explained before, well, you got to play it all the way through. Come on. This thing was done. So for the Niners, the win is number nine for them on the year. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for Atlanta, the loss might knock them out of playoff contention as they drop to six and eight. And they'll get a chance to redeem themselves at home next week.